All that grinding, dungeon running, and PvP is a lot of fun, but sometimes we just want to kick back and decorate our house. Seeing the myriad of customization options these MMOs offer, it's no wonder that player housing becomes a game in itself. The MMOs in this list offer some of the most immersive and detailed housing experiences available. Whether you are looking for a cozy cottage or an opulent palace, you will find what you are looking for in one of these MMOs. Palea might one day top our list for MMOs with the best player housing, but since it's not out yet it is starting off our list. Palea markets itself as a community simulator and a quote-unquote cozy MMO. In Palea it is the activities that are seen as secondary features in other MMOs that come to the forefront. Things like fishing, foraging, gardening, or crafting. Towns and player housing will also be a major feature in Palea, and we can't wait to start building our own cozy little hut. Palea is currently in alpha. No release date has been revealed yet. Moving on to spot number 14. Fractured is a new true sandbox MMO with isometric graphics that will cater to players of games like Ultima Online and RuneScape. Players are able to claim plots of land in the wild and build their own houses. Groups of players are able to build settlements and towns that can be upgraded with crafting areas, NPCs, and more. Players can even vote for who will be the governor of their village or town. In 13th we have Rift. Rift's player housing system adds sandbox features to this theme park MMORPG. Rift houses are called dimensions. Players get a piece of land in the form of an instanced area. The amazing thing is that you can actually construct unique buildings. You can also opt in for the pre-built houses the game offers. Rift dimension decorations can be acquired in many ways such as quest rewards, drops from monsters, crafting, and the auction house. The game has an easy placement system. Free players have access to dimensions as well. If you have enough platinum you can have a pretty cool place to call your own without visiting the cash shop. New World is in 12th. New World has had a rough time since its release last year, but it can provide a lot of fun for fans of open world MMOs or survival games, and it has many great features. Owning a house in a town can be a great source of immersion and give a feeling of community as you might have to help defend the town from opposing factions or risk losing some of the benefits of being a citizen. Trophies can also be used as decorations that will give you bonuses, and having extra storage in your house is always great. You can choose to live in a small cottage or a large mansion. There are also many customization options available, so you can make your home look however you want. Next, in 11th place is Star Wars, The Old Republic. A long time ago, in a galaxy far far away Jedi and Sith put the never-ending conflict on hold, because they were too busy decorating their homes. Strongholds are available on Tatooine and several other iconic planets. You can buy a house for personal use or share it with your guild. Houses vary by the number of rooms, decorations, and supported players. Decorations are obtained from vendors and as drops from game activities. In 10th we have a cult classic. Worm Online is a sandbox game with an extensive crafting feature that includes house building. Provided that you have the needed resources, you can build a house just about anywhere. Find a suitable spot and don't forget to check in with your neighbors because it's considered rude to build on a plot that has already been claimed by another player. Worm Online houses are not instanced. This gives players the freedom to build large settlements. You don't need to pay upkeep for your house, but you do have to repair it as time takes its toll and burglars decide to pay unwanted visits. Ninth place goes to a newcomer. Lost Ark's player housing is called Strongholds. Strongholds aren't restricted to just a house or a castle, but give the player an entire island. You can decorate, progress, and manage your stronghold and even use the system to craft useful items. Buildings such as the laboratory, workshop, manor, and training camp are all useful and can be upgraded. In 8th we are going to Middle-earth. Who doesn't want to live in the Shire? Or in an elven house in Falathlorn, a dwarven hall in the Blue Mountains, or with the humans of Bree? Thanks to Latro's housing system this dream can come true. Each neighborhood has a community area perfect for role-playing or just plain lollygagging. The game has individual standard and deluxe homes and large kinship halls. Decorations can be crafted or bought from NPCs. Latro homes cost in-game money and have weekly upkeep. Living in Middle-earth is not cheap, but we can all agree that the view is worth it. In 7th we find a classic. Just because a game is old doesn't mean it can't have some truly unique features. One of the earliest MMOs, Ultima Online, was also one of the first to offer player housing. In Ultima Online, players can purchase a plot of land and then build their own house on it. They can also furnish their houses with furniture and decorations. This system allowed players to really make their homes their own. In UO you can change the locks to your house to decide who can and can't enter, use your house for storage or even open up a shop. Arcage is in 6th place. 
Arc Age is another sandbox game that allows players to have non-instanced homes. House sizes vary from small to mansion. The location is of utmost importance. From climate to nearby resources and the type of area, protected or PvP, there are many things to consider when choosing a plot. The spot may even determine the type of construction. For example, aqua farms can only be placed underwater, near a coastline. The bigger the house, the bigger the costs. And keep in mind that not paying your taxes results in losing your house. It's not easy, but it's the challenge and complexity that makes Arc Age player housing interesting and fun. Black Desert takes fifth place. Houses in Black Desert can be used as homes, storage expansions, lodging and more. Players can own numerous houses at the same time. Almost every building in every town can be owned. Players can buy any of these units for contribution, an in-game currency obtained from completing activities. House items come from crafting or from the cash shop. Some decorations are not just cosmetics. Beds, for example, regenerate energy and sofas provide an HP recovery buff. Crafting stations can be placed inside homes. Storage expansions unlock more bank slots. Lodgings provide accommodation for your workers. The BDO housing system allows players to recover the spent contribution should they decide to sell the unit. Next we are moving to Eorzea. Did you think that buying a house in real life is hard? Well, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. A limited number of houses are available on each server so good luck if you happen to play on a populated server. The costs range from 500,000 gil for an apartment to tens of million gil for a large house. Despite all that, Final Fantasy XIV homes are great. The residential districts look amazing and there are so many customization options and decorations. You can start a garden, build a stable for your chocobo, and even have a working shower in your Eorzean house. Free company estates even allow the construction of airships. Moving on to our top 3. To start with what most of us want to know, you don't need to spend real money to gain access to EverQuest 2 player homes. However, that doesn't necessarily make things easier. Some EQ2 homes cost gold, the in-game currency and status, a reputation currency. Most of the houses have a weekly upkeep cost in addition to the initial purchase cost. Your alignment will also determine the type of house you can buy. House sizes vary from small to large. Some houses have features such as a garden and balcony. EverQuest 2 has one of the best MMO house systems, but it makes you work for it. In second place we have ESO. Homestead, ESO's player housing system, is included in the base game version. You don't need a premium subscription to become a Tamriel homeowner. Players start small with a room that doesn't offer many options, but works great as additional storage space. Elder Scrolls Online homes come in all sizes and styles. Ranging from apartments to castle-like manors and featuring the Elder Scrolls racial themes, the selection is overwhelming. Most of these homes can be bought with ESO gold or crowns. The decorating options are virtually endless and you can even have NPCs living in your home. The winner is yet another classic. Star Wars Galaxies is to many players the greatest sandbox MMO ever made, with one of the best housing systems. Sadly the game was closed back in 2011, before the release of Star Wars, The Old Republic, but thanks to dedicated fans you can still enjoy the game on the private SWG Legends server. Players can not only build houses but entire player cities, where the players become citizens with all the responsibilities that might entail like paying taxes or voting. Houses can be decorated and used for crafting, storage, or just relaxation. So there you have it, our list of the best MMO player housing systems. What is your favorite game to call home? Let us know in the comments. And remember to subscribe for more MMO news.